Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Showing Up to Your Life podcast and YouTube channel. My name is Art Burns, and I am really actually very excited today. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, I'm actually really excited because I just, like, moments ago, like less than three minutes ago, I just finished my um, my podcast uh, with uh, Adam Asdell, the uh, the person who I run the uh, the Learning to Surf uh, group and podcast and, and uh, meditation and group meetings every week. I tell you all about that here. I hope you remember. Um, and so we we had this really amazing conversation and, and, and I'll, I'll put a link to the once in a while I put a link in there to that podcast because it's, it's really um it's much different from this podcast, right? But there certainly is crossover, which is what we're going to talk about now. But, uh, but, but the the um, <clears throat> it's really great. I mean, we have some great conversations, Adam and I. Uh, we also do interviews with other people. Um, you know, he does interviews, I do interviews. Next week, we're going to do an interview together with somebody. So it's a lot of fun, a lot of good stuff. So I'll put a link in the uh, in the description here, uh, so you can check that podcast out. You know, and of course, tomorrow being Saturday, um, I'm not sure when you're listening to this. So I don't know if it's tomorrow for you or not but but on Saturday morning uh, we do a guided meditation and a um, and a little discussion and so you're welcome to join that as well um, but but something came up during our conversation that I, I thought you know it's weird it's one of those days where I look at my my black book which you all know about by now right uh, where I take notes and, and kind of you know uh, jot down my ideas for for topics for this you know these uh, these episodes here and um, <clears throat> Once in a long while, right? I'll I'll have a uh, and literally this is out of five hundred and I think this is the five hundred thirty second episode that you're listening to right now. Uh, out of all five hundred thirty two of them, maybe five times, right? This has happened um, where. I, you know, so literally like 1% of the time, right? I I write something down one day and I'm like, oh yeah, this is going to be a great podcast episode. And then I open my book the the morning of or the night before to like kind of psych myself up and, and get into the head of what we're going to talk about here. And I say, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. that and, and nobody probably wants to hear about that. And so today is one of those days. So I, I woke up this morning or last night, I looked at my book. I usually do that the night before. So I kind of, you know, think I'm getting some dream action in there, getting myself prepared, and then and then in the morning I review it real quick, and then boom, here we go. Um, and so that's my process. But uh, I don't know why you didn't ask, but <laughs> I thought I'd share. Um, <clears throat> and so so last night I looked at my book, and it was um, <laughs> the note that I wrote was be honest about the uh, the the trauma that you know that you experienced, you know. Uh, from the hand of your parents, like really like wanted to talk about some of the, the stuff that my mother did to, you know, to really kind of, you know, really could be seen as abuse. But I, I don't think that's something that's appropriate to talk about here. I don't know. It just feels like, I don't know. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> and so, so if I'm wrong about that, if you would like to hear about that, well, if I get enough emails, let's say if I get 10 emails from people that you want to hear this kind of story, I'm happy to share it with you, but I just, I don't know. It just feels like kind of, I don't know, somehow inappropriate. But there is another personal thing that is appropriate to this website, to this uh, podcast and, and YouTube channel um, <clears throat> that I, I would like to share with you. And this is something that kind of came up in the conversation uh, that I just had with Adam. And that is... Um, we, we were talking about fear, right? And we we're talking about fear and authenticity. Well, authenticity came out of the of the conversation, right? <clears throat> and um, and one of the things that that we we touched on, or one of the things that kind of came up, is um, you know, as most of you know, and 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 I really appreciate. Mo I've gotten so many emails from all of you saying, you know, that you're happy that I'm taking time off for myself and taking two days off and stuff. <laughs> I really, really appreciate that. It's just truly heartwarming to read that and that you care about me. And I love that so much. Um, but, but it's interesting. And, and I want to tell you something about this. So now, first of all, a little background information. Okay. Now <clears throat> for forever, right? I mean, you know, growing up, right? And this was part of my trauma and part of my, uh, you know, the terrible relationships I've had with my folks and all that kind of stuff. But uh, and again, I don't want to get too deeply into that stuff. But one of the things that was sort of instilled within me, you know, growing up, right? And, and it started with school and it progressed into business, right? <laughs> that the, the idea is that 
you know, what this thing that was ingrained in me is that, you know, work over everything, right? Like, which means that, that there's nothing more important than, than work, right? Because, you know, and I get it, right? Like my, you know, and this is where, you know, again, it really helps to look at, you know, your parents, you know, upbringing to, to understand where they're coming from, you know? So, so both of my parents came from very, very poor uh, parents, right? Like my mother's parents tell me stories about the depression, right? Um, my father's parents, I mean, they're, I mean, neither of them are on this earth anymore, any four of them, but, but my father's parents also, you know, they grew up in a very, very poor situation. You know, my, my grandfather worked two jobs. Uh, my, you know, my grandmother was home in a tenement apartment with three boys, you know, like a two bedroom apartment, you know, it was a tough life, you know? So, so therefore it makes perfect sense that my father and my mother have prioritized, you know, financial stability, right? Because they don't want me to live through what they lived through. Right. And that makes sense. That's, that's a kind of a beautiful thing, right. And in its essence, right. However, there's a lot of confusion with that as well, right? And and one of the confusions, th- there's confusion on their part and there's confusion on my part as a result of this kind of thing, right, that I've learned from that. And so one of the ways in which this, this confusion has manifested in my own life is this idea that, you know, that I have to, you know, give myself to that, right? And that being the financial gains, right? So, so whatever it is I do for a living, right? Whatever I do in, in exchange for a paycheck, right? I have to give everything I have to that thing. Right. And that's been a, 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 a pattern in my life. Right. It's been, you know, when I was in advertising. Well, first of all, when I was uh, before I was in the, you know, the advertising part of advertising, I worked in like printing companies and stuff. Right. And and frequently, you know, I would I would work all night. You know, I, I, my shift was from four to midnight. Frequently, you know, I was asked to work until eight o'clock in the morning when the next shift came in. And I did it every time without argument, right? Frequently, I would work on the weekends, right? Um, Then when I made the transition into the corporate advertising world, right? Working at the actual advertising agencies like Mad Men kind of thing, right? You know, like I literally, they would, I, I would fly to, I remember one time flying to Milan. It was supposed to be like a, you know, for a printing, you know, to, to okay a printing job, uh, you know, it was, you know, to, you know, I, I'm approving something that's worth millions of dollars to Rolex, you know, I mean, that was the pressure that I was dealing with. Right. And so, and so, you know, this, this trip was supposed to be like, you know, you know, five or six days and it wound up being like almost four weeks, you know, like literally getting your laundry done at the hotel and, and, and just, you know, just giving up my life for a company that makes watches that cost like a hundred thousand dollars. Like, you know, like that's what I was, that's what my life was, you know? And, and, and I carried that, you know, then, then I opened a, you know, after I got out of the advertising industry, I went into uh you know, a, a food business, right? I, I opened up a little cafe, right? And again, I mean, it was, you know, I remember the first, when my, my son was born, <clears throat> right? My wife was, you know, she had been working, you know, with me and, and covering for me and stuff like that. But when, when my son was born, she couldn't be there, right? So she was not able to work at all. So I wound up working every day, seven days a week for like four months, right? It was like insanity. Like I, I was, I was beside myself. I literally didn't know what where I was, you know, in the universe, like it was like bad, but it was, you know, I just did it right. There were plenty of other times now, you know, and so, so now, right now that I'm in this iteration of my quote unquote career, right? I mean, this is not, I don't see this as a job. I see this as more of a calling, right? I see this as something that, you know, this is what I need to do, right? And that's, and that's what I want to get to, right? So, so as you know, you know, for, for about, you know, two months or something like that, month and a half, two months, I was working seven days a week, right? Because on two days a week, I would just record this podcast, but it's still work. It's, you know, I got to psych myself up for it. I got to prepare. I got to, you know, I got to do something, right? It's, it's, it's effort. It's toil, right? And so, and so at a certain point, I decided I needed to start taking those two days off. And, and again, I love that all of you have supported me in this way. And I think it's beautiful and I love it so much. I'm so grateful for all of you, you know, but there's been this weird thing that's been happening, (laughs) 
<laughs> all right? Now, look, first of all, um, you know, I, I mean, I've I've been saying for a long time now, since the days of the of the food business that I was in, my my motto is that I'm here to make a living, not to make a killing, right? And so, and what that means to me is that I want to work and I want to earn enough that is enough, right? I don't want to earn just you know some sort of abstract you know big number, and and I don't want to you know I don't need a lot of big material things, right? Like I'm I'm satisfied with my 2006 Toyota 4Runner outside that's like literally looks like a jalopy, but it's fine. It runs great, and it gets me from point A to point B. And I have no identification with you know with driving around in a car. You know my kids have a different story. That's why we uh, got my wife's car, a nice little uh, 2015. Jetta, you know, uh, but for me, psh, I couldn't care less, right? It's it's not a thing for me, right? And so, so yet, you know, there there is, you know, there are financial pressures. You know, this is, you know, this is still a pretty nascent um, uh, endeavor here. You know, maybe I'm in the toddler stage of my of my uh, career here as a coach. You know, and and there are times where it's, you know, financially, it's there's difficulty, right? Um, my wife, you know, just actually kind of downgraded her job because the stress was getting to her too much. So. So, so there's, you know, I'm just sharing, just being vulnerable and being honest that there's, you know, there's financial, you know, issues. It's not easy street right now, right? <laughs> I guess this will be a good time to mention my Patreon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but <laughs> but the, the, the thing that I'm trying to get to here, and there's a point of me telling you all this, and the point is that <clears throat> as I've been taking these two days off for the last like three or four weeks now, it is something really amazing, really interesting has has arisen for me, and 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 I say interesting because I'm curious about it, right? And this is a lesson that I give to all of you that that it's really important and very valuable to be curious about our experiences, right? That if we're curious, we stay away from things like fear and 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 you know and, and self blame and all that kind of stuff, right? It helps, right? <clears throat> and so as I've 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 dwelled in this curious, open awareness, right? This non judging loving awareness that I've been practicing for years now, right, which is what I ask all of you to practice too, you know, it's allowed me to see something that's been going on, right? It's allowed me to see this pattern happening, right? And the pattern, it's really fascinating. <clears throat> and again, it's 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 changing as we go, right? But the, the first couple of weeks, you know, when I took those two days off, right, I got this like extreme feeling of like depression, Right. I felt like I need to be doing something. I need to be, you know, I, I, I can't be sitting here idle. Right. And so, you know, and again, now, now, if I'm if I'm not operating from a place of mindfulness, if I'm not operating from a place of non-judging awareness, as I consider this, as I feel this depression. Right. Then then what you know, if I if I just kind of experience it from a, a reactive place, then then most likely what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well, then just get to work, right? Forget about the, taking these days off, right? It's not going to work, right? But then there's things that are going to suffer, right? My, my children are going to suffer from that. You know, my, my physical health is going to suffer from that. So that is not a sustainable idea, right? But yet that is where my reactive mind would go, right? Because I feel like, okay, I'm feeling this depression. This depression is because I'm idle. Therefore, the, the, the fix is to not be idle, get to work, right? Record a podcast, write a, an ad, do something, right? And it's easy to get caught up in that. It's really easy to get caught in that sense of like, yeah, I need to, need to, need to go, 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 right? But if we allow ourselves to sit with that feeling, right, and we allow ourselves to, to, you know, kind of, you know, vulnerably, you know, experience that feeling, right? The fear, the, the depression, the, the, the anxiousness, right? The, the, you know, all of it, right? If we allow ourselves to feel it without running away from it, without, without creating a narrative to make it, you know, make sense in somehow or, or to justify something or to ignore something, right? If we, if we allow ourselves to really turn towards it with acceptance and with compassion for ourselves and with curiosity, 
then you know re, uh, you know wisdom and 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 answers start to to materialize for ourselves because you know as as just came up in this talk that I just had with Adam you know is that it's not just it's not it's not just needing the two days off because, you know, I need to like not do anything, right? Like that's not what it's about. You know, like those two days and and for sure, you know, <clears throat> for sure, I have, you know, I do things on those two days that, that do have to do with work, right? Like I read the, you know, I have like my reading list is <laughs> here's the light reading i'm going through here okay here's my my first uh my next uh what four five books okay so this one i just started reading the emotional brain uh the emotional life of your brain by uh by richard uh, davidson um <clears throat> the biology of belief is up next uh after that the body keeps score and after that these are all this is not light reading folks this is <laughs> this is heavy duty stuff right um next one is trauma and memory by peter levine and then i'm going to follow it up with a little dow of physics right <laughs> so you know yes i'm interested in all this stuff yes i'm you know yes it's 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 you know beneficial to me to read these things of course you know but i enjoy it and everything like that but what it is work too, right? Because by reading these books, that's what helps to inform my work is I sit here and talk to you. And when I meet with clients, when I, when I read about what Peter Levine is talking about with, with a, a traumatic situation or, or, or the, the effect of the trauma on a person's, on a person's body and their nervous system, you know, when I'm talking to a client two weeks from now, I can know what's happening to my client from the the trauma that they've experienced, right? So this is absolutely work, right? But yet I'm doing it on my days off, right? <laughs> and that's the thing, right? That's the that's the key, right? It's like what am I taking a day off from? Right? Am I taking a day off from from me? Am I taking a day off from who from my authentic self? Of course not. No. That's not the idea, right? The idea is to take the day off of, <clears throat> you know, kind of the the business end of things, if you will, right? That the, that that notion of of you know, kind of toil equals dollar kind of thing, you know. That's that's the thing that I'm taking off, right? And 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 while I was talking to um, <clears throat> to Adam today and telling him about this, I, I literally told him all about this. Uh, told the whole audience about this that that um you know when um <clears throat> you know about taking these two days off and getting into this depression and, and literally it was getting to the point where you know by su by well my sunday would be tuesday right by tuesday afternoon i was literally feeling like my my world was falling apart like my life was coming undone and then by the time, you know, and, and what happened was, and this is how I, I talked to, uh, about it with Adam, is that, you know, I would, I would feel like from, you know, Monday, you know, Monday morning, I would feel like, okay, I'm getting some extra sleep. It feels good and stuff. And so by Monday midday, feeling a little antsy, feeling like, oh, there's something, my body wants to do this stuff that it's not doing. And, and, and then by, by, by Monday night, it's like a full-blown depression, right? And then Tuesday is just a complete struggle all day, right? But then something amazing happens, right? Then Wednesday comes and I have, you know, last week on Wednesday, I literally had six meetings in seven hours, right? <laughs> with with clients and doing podcasts and stuff like that, right? And, and again, it's not about like, okay, I met with my clients, so therefore I get some money kind of thing. No, no, no. It's, it's the activity of meeting with the clients, right? It, it gets me back into what I'm doing all this for, right? So, so by, you know, I go from this like absolute depressed state on Tuesday, 24 hours later, or even less than 24 hours later, by midday on Wednesday, I'm on top of the world again. I'm feeling like there's no stopping me. Like I am like just completely like glowing with the excitement for the work that I do, right? And that brings me back to the question, right? What is it that we're taking the day off from, right? I'm taking the day off from sending emails. I'm taking the day off from from writing, uh, you know, ad material. I'm taking the day off from, from uh, you know, 
recording podcasts. I'm taking the day off from the mechanical things, right, that are involved with this. I'm taking the day off from that stuff, right? Now, I might get a text or an email from a client, you know, uh, asking me a question about something or telling me about a struggle that they're having with something, and I will absolutely email back because that, again, is not what I'm taking the day off from, right? I'm not taking the day off from being me, and, and being me is being helpful to people, right? It's not like I turn off the light and, and, and you know, call me in two days, right? Like, I, I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm explaining this clearly. And, and one of the things that came up in the conversation, you know, just a little while ago is that, you know, when I look at, you know, like you think of Gandhi, right? Did Gandhi take two days off every week? I'll bet Gandhi took two days off a week when he was a, a, a law clerk, I think he was, in, uh, in South Africa, right? So, so while he, you know, until, by the way, until he, you want some hope, <laughs> this is something I've always held very close to my heart. When I learned that Gandhi was 48 years old when he moved to India, and moved back to India and, and started the revolution that changed the world, right? 48 years old. Until he was 48, he was just a, an unremarkable law clerk in South Africa. I think it was a law clerk. It was something like that, some kind of, some kind of bureaucrat of some sort. I, I don't remember exactly. You can look that up easily enough. But after Gandhi became Gandhi, right, Mahatma Gandhi, I'm sure he didn't take Saturdays and Sundays off, right? As he's as he's, you know, marching, you know, in front of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, you know, against colonialism, you know, he wasn't taking the day off, right? Uh Mother Teresa, I don't think she took a lot of days off, you know? Nelson Mandela, did he take a lot of days off? Martin Luther King, did he take did he say, "Okay, I, you know, I'm not doing any, uh, you know, civil rights today. I, I you know, it's Saturday, you know?" <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. These people were living that, right? And that is something that I do too. I live it, right? And that is actually what's helped me to to kind of manage this little thing. And and so and one of the things that uh you know there's a great quote that that I shared um, that I want to share with you to now uh, I shared on the other podcast about this, right? And and um, I don't know if you are aware of this, but Bob Marley. Okay, he was at one point in his life, he was shot. He was, I think it was a home invasion robbery or something like that. And he was shot, you know, it was serious. It got like shot in the gut. I mean, that's never something that I think it was in his gut. But anyway, a gunshot is never something that's like, oh, no big deal. You know, I mean, we watch movies and we see guys like, oh, no, the bullet went right through. It's okay. I can still go on, you know. <laughs> Don't, no, life doesn't really happen that way. You know, if you get shot with a bullet, you're in a bad position. You know, you need to, you know, you need to heal from that, right? And so two days after Bob Marley got shot, he had a, a, a concert planned, right? And instead of postponing the concert, instead of telling the world, look, I just got shot. I need a couple of weeks to heal and then I'll, I'll reschedule the, the concert. Instead of doing that, he actually went and played the concert, and afterward, and, uh, and a reporter, you know, approached him and said, and was like, you know, why did you play the concert? You know, you, you were just in a hospital just this morning, like you've been shot. Why didn't you take some time off? And Bob's answer is, and I'm going to paraphrase, I think, <laughs> what he said was the people who are trying to make this world a worse place don't take time off. And so how can I take time off? And so if, if I'm going to leave you with this, and I know many of you are probably not in an entrepreneurial position. You probably have jobs like I used to have where it's like, you know, X amount of hours a week, that's what you do. And, you know, that kind of thing. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I um, hope that lawnmower isn't too loud out there. Um, it sounds a summer, right? Um, you know, but, but the thing is that it's okay to take time off from the toils. It's okay to take time because if you think about Bob Marley, you know, work for him was getting on stage and doing what he loved, right? Work for Mother Teresa was helping people, doing what she loved. Work for Gandhi, same. Work for Martin Luther King, same, right? And so, so it's not about taking time off of being you 
and and taking time off of being the 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 parent or the the spouse or the friend or the 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 citizen of the world right like that you know we don't have to switch off and on that part of us right but it is important to take a rest when you need it right it's important it's important for your body it's important for your stress it's important for your resilience so take time off to rest, right? But 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 in that time off, don't think of it as something where it's like, okay, well, now I get to be this completely other person, right? There can be a continuity, right? There can be a, a fluidity, right? And, and, and really, in essence, what we're talking about is what we talked about yesterday, right? Which is that authenticity, right? Like, like you know, I can still be authentically me on my days off right? Which means reading these books that are enriching me, that are empowering me to help the people who I help, right? Um, you know, it means continuing to do my meditation because that makes me who I am, right? You know, all those things that are, you know, that are feeding my artness, right? My authenticity, those never get a day off. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found it interesting. Um, again, it was one of those weird mornings where it's like, no, nah, I'm not talking about that today. <laughs> and not for my benefit. I can talk about it. I just worried about you because it's not, I can't imagine somebody sitting through a half hour of me talking <laughs> about the, the kind of horrible things that my, my mother used to do to me. But you know, but again, I, I want to own it. So if, if you want to hear about it, I'm willing to tell you. So you'll let me know. Okay. If I get 10 emails from people saying, share your story, then, I, and you just put that in the, in the, in the uh, subject line, just share your story. 10 people, I'll share some stories about, about my upbringing and then maybe it'll help. Maybe it will. So, all right, everybody. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll be with you uh, again tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to it. I definitely have something uh, tomorrow I think was a good topic. Uh, I think I was comfortable <laughs> with tomorrow's topic again. Um, uh, let me, sorry, my, my writing. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's going to be a nice one. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So we're going to talk about spirituality tomorrow. We're going to talk about how, you know, how mindfulness and spirituality interplay with each other, how they facilitate one another and, and how it really, you know, I got some good stuff to tell you about that. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. And I will see you then. All right. Have a great day, everybody. And check out the links in the comments. Uh, there'll be a link for the, uh, the, the meditation group. There'll be a link for the other podcast. And then of course, there's always the link for you to claim the coaching session that already belongs to you. Okay. 45 minute session is yours for the taking. All you got to do is claim it with the link below in the description. Have a great day, everybody. I wish you well. Take care.